The U.S. Department of Justice just announced major restrictions to online gambling. In a new opinion, they say the Federal Wire Act includes all betting that crosses state boundaries. 8 News Now reporter Orko Mana explains what this could mean for Nevada. Weekend mainly, you know, and I do. I enjoy doing it. I don't do it for a fortune. Is it on the sport? Sport mainly, <laughs> and I do enjoy it. Paul Rimmer and Christina Williamson like to gamble online. But the future of placing bets on the internet is up in the air. The Department of Justice released a public opinion this week on the Federal Wire Act of 1961, saying all forms of online gambling across state lines are illegal. This reverses a 2011 opinion which only prevented sports betting. The DOJ says that, quote, conflicts with the plain language of the Wire Act. It was meant to combat that. UNLV gaming expert David Schwartz says it's hard to tell how this latest interpretation of the Wire Act could impact Nevada. If you play with mobile apps, if you bet on sports with mobile apps in Nevada, if you play poker in Nevada on mobile apps on your computer, it doesn't touch that. If you wanted to do that across state lines, though, it might affect that. It could restrict some of the poker pooling where people can join from different states into one pool. The Nevada Gaming Control Board also says the implications are yet to be determined. There is an interstate compact between Nevada, Delaware, and New Jersey uh, where Nevada participates is with regard to poker only, and that's in question. Some say the restrictions are ridiculous. Gambling online is a problem, but not to the point where you should make it illegal. It's everyone's choice if they want to gamble. Others believe little will change. I think that people who like to do the online thing will continue to do it. Orko Mana, 8 News Now. Gaming operators have 90 days to comply with those new regulations. We also want to point out that this is opinion is completely separate from the Supreme Court's decision last year where it allowed states to legalize sports betting.